Today, we walk through We Dig It 5, my favorite boat Sea Ray has to offer, the 480 Sedan Bridge. Hi, I'm Belle. And I'm Andy. And this is Boss. The last two years, we have traveled 40,000 miles, zigzagging across the United States, exploring some of the most beautiful areas our country has to offer. It's time for a new adventure or revisiting an old one. We are Bell's Rides, where we enjoy the ride. Today, we are at the beautiful Maximo Marina in St. Petersburg, Florida. We Dig It 5 is a 2004, the last year C. Ray made the 480 Sedan Bridge. She has been housed in the covered shed since the current owners purchased her in 2007. With the standard swim platform, she's 51 feet 2 inches long. And from the waterline to the top of the hardtop, she is 16 feet 7 inches. Her max bridge clearance from the waterline to her mast light is 20 feet 4 inches. Her beam is 15 feet 3 inches wide and her dry weight is 40,000 pounds. She holds 500 gallons of fuel and 140 gallons of fresh water. The 480's immersion rate is 2,253 pounds per inch, fully loaded with fuel, water, and supplies. At 6,120 pounds, she will sink 2.7 inches, making her bridge clearance 20 feet one inch. When needed, you could gain access to the anchor light or mass light through the skylight and lower it for a low bridge like the 19 foot 7 inch fixed railroad bridge at mile marker 300.5 on the Chicago Sanitary when doing the loop. The flybridge is fully enclosed with custom strata glass. The bridge is air conditioned and the helm has updated Furuno Electronics. She was powered by twin Cummins M11 with a combined 1,280 horses with just over 1,200 hours. She just had a thousand hour service and new Cummins after coolers installed. She also has bow thrusters and a newer inverter and solar panels. The gunwheel is nice and wide with grab rails on the side of the bridge and the bow rail is at a safe height to move forward to the bow. There are three large stainless steel cleats along each side of the gunwheel and two more on each side of the stern. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. I just want to let you know you still get your signed copy today. Use the link right up there or in the description down below to get your copy. Moving inside, there's a large slider trimmed in stainless steel leading to the salon. To the port side is a large L-shaped sofa that folds down to a bed. Starboard side is a large flat screen TV. In the galley, there's an under counter single refrigerator freezer unit and forward and port is the dinette booth. Below deck, there are three staterooms and two heads. To the port is the full-size VIP with private access to the guest head. And to the starboard is two twin berths. This is also where the washer and dryer combo is found along with the central vac. Port and forward is the guest head with a separate shower. Forward and center is the owner's suite with a queen island bed and the owner's head with a separate shower. Back in the salon, the natural light is in abundance along with plenty of counter space in the galley. Join us next week with another video of St. Augustine's Salt Life 
And until next time, enjoy the ride.